like <laughs> hi everybody and welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi my name is Pamela and I just want to say happy Mother's Day to all of the mothers out here whether you're a mother of a human child a fur child or plant children I just want to say happy Mother's Day to you all and today's video <laughs> It's kind of a little sad one. I would say I try to be the best plant mom that I can be and fur mom that I can be, but sometimes my children don't cooperate. My children don't love me no matter how much I love them. So, yes, if you're interested in seeing all of my children that dislike me, then keep on watching. <laughs> Okay guys, so welcome back. As a plant parent, as a plant owner, as a plant mom, a plant dad, you do your best to show love to the plants that you love. Honestly, you try to give them the best soil you know that you can afford. You try to give them the best lighting that you can do, you know, you can picture in your head or you, you can provide them. And sometimes they're stubborn little a-holes. To date, this plant is <laughs> the most expensive plant that I've ever just like purchased in one sitting. This is my Philodendron Milano Chrysum. When I purchased this, it had two little, you know, this one and another leaflet. That one is inside of a box. It's propagating right now that I'm trying to save this plant. But the issue that I had um, with this plant is it's just like randomly rotting at the joints at the nodes and I don't know what to do to save it so I've done my best to cut and prop but this leaf is a goner <sighs> maybe I'll wear it in this video just to remind me of how much my children don't like me. This is perfect. Ah! <laughs> All right, but even though sometimes I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm doing my best, my plants can't stand me, they do notice your best, you know? They do notice all the hard work that you're putting in to care for them, to have them grow. So, I'm happy. I have one little node, like one little new growth right here. And on the other side, I have one right here. You guys see? So this plant is actually branching off into two different, you know, ways. And I'm really happy, I'm really proud of myself for being able to keep this guy alive and for just like helping this guy just do its thing so this is actually one of my plant babies that doesn't like me but I refuse to let it die all right so let's just move forward to the next plant baby that honestly dislikes me and brings ultimate dishonor to my family Look, this guy right here So this is my Black Pagoda lipstick plant, and I have no idea what the fuck is wrong with this plant. Both of them actually. I got these in January, and it's like I don't understand the needs of this plant at all. Like, I feel like I am going to just change the soil up in this guy because 
anything that I do, like I water it, it doesn't seem happy. I don't water it, it doesn't seem happy. I give it moderate watering, it doesn't seem happy. I overwater it, it doesn't seem happy. It flowers, it doesn't flower. It, this plant is just like all over the place for me. I also do apologize for any background noise. My windows are open, it's Sunday, it's sunny, and black people don't know how to stay inside. Like, <laughs> once the heat comes out, everybody's outside you know, booming their loud music, okay? I live in Brooklyn, so we're full of very, very vibrant types of people. So yeah. I'm happy at least like one plant seems to be happier than the other, but at the end of the day, I want both plants to be happy and they seem to not like my parenting. Um, so, I will repot this guy into a smaller pot because there's no point in just keeping it here and I'm a failure. I'm a failure. It's crazy because these are the two plants in my home that are doing bad. Everything else, like out of the almost 200 plants that I own, those are the two plants that are not doing good in my home and I don't really know why. This guy was doing good, then all of a sudden, it said nope. Nope. So, with all of this being said, I want you to all know that no one is perfect. No one has the recipe for growing the perfect plants 24-7, all of your plants perfect. Like, no one has that. Even the greenhouses don't. You know what I mean? Sometimes greenhouses, they produce pink princesses. And that pink princess just wants to stay green, so you get the reverted pink princesses. Um, yeah, so I think this is the end of my video. I guess I'm not a failure. Um, and sometimes you win some, sometimes you lose some. And these might be L's for me, but this bad boy said, nope. No, mama, you're not an L. These are not L's not the smoking kind um and they're gonna like push through you know what i mean so i'm so happy spring is around the corner and again like i said happy mother's day to everybody and this is the end of my video guys so if you liked it don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you aren't already join this little kooky family because we're pretty awesome here even if my plant children think otherwise and I will see you on the next one. Let's get growing. Bye.